Chapter 1, Prologue Once hero always be a hero ruin. Everything as far as eyes can see, is destroyed, like the titan itself decide to stomping around without any care. The earth itself charred, smoke can be seen still coming from it, like the meteors just decide to come down, if some giant craters that can be seen around is enough for proof. None of nature life is seen for miles, as the trees. Around now is nothing but a splinter and dust. Big, jagged rock is their replacement, with each is big enough to stab through five to six adult men. Even the sky above itself is darkened, as if it was the spectator of what happened below it, though it was obviously an angry spectator, if the lightning crackles are any indication. In the middle of this chaos, two creatures hovering. One was a tall woman, reaching two meters in height, with her attire is that of loose, huge kimono with Megatama symbols, covering her whole body, from neck to feet. Her skin is white, so white that it can be compared with a cloud thyself. Same with like her hairs and eyes, though for the latter, there are a third eye right in the middle of her forehead, red in color, with seven rings, in between of these rings, Tomo symbol can be seen moving hypnotically. This woman, currently giving out cold, dark, and gloomy aura that can make any human, even gods trembles in fear. As for the second creature, he is a total opposite of the woman across from him, with his appearance alone is likely of that of miniature sun with his golden lock flutter from the winds hitting his person, same like his robe that glowing gold like a fire. Across his body, seals marking and Megatama symbols can be seen, with the exception is the symbol of white sun on his right back hand and symbol of black crescent moon on his left back hand. Hovering behind him, is ten black balls of pure destruction. At one glance alone, any sane being would take a conclusion that he is a deity that descend to earth, though a glance to his whiskered face and cross-shaped eyes that still filled with kindness, he is by far only a 16-year-old teen. Currently, the woman and the teen just stared at each other, one visibly did not even tired while the other already panting hard, his supposed slight tan skin tone become paler and paler in each second, even his horns from some of his hair bangs slowly going down. H. How, through gritted teeth, that was the only thought that crossed the teen mind. As far as he can remember, the golden, Surrounded teen realizes that he already fought the goddess in front of him for seven straight days, without any rest, eat, or any drinks nonetheless, and as much as the other called him a stamina freak, he knew that his body cannot handle the strain on it anymore. He wants to joke. To say. That this is what happened if he didn't eat any ramen for long times, a week no ramen is long to him, no matter what the other side, but he knows he can't, not with his current situation. Seven days ago. He just finished battling again the one that can massacre all humanity easily, the one that can call forth meteor with simple hand signs, and the one call himself as god and can get away from it. Because his power, is truly like that of a god. The golden-haired teen was not battling against that man alone obviously, as he does it along with thousands upon thousands shinobi that ready to die, and die they were, again so called god, thousands easily become hundreds and just as the fight almost won by their alliance. It happens. A massive will given conscious called Black Zetsu. Suddenly appear and stab the god through his heart, but not only killing, that movement surprisingly makes the god of man suddenly transformed into the mother of all chakra, Kagaya Atsutsuki, her will crushed the man's easily as she then gains control, and lived again after sealed for thousands of years. After it, everything turned downward, with Kagaya immediately activates Mugen Tsukiyomi and trapped every living being in eternal illusion. The one still awakens through this is only the teen and his best friend Suzuki. So they battled again her, on the way they gain a boost of power in shape of Sage of the Six Path Chakra, their ancestor. Alas, that hope is merely a groundless hope as at first, their mental helper, which is their ancestor, the exalted Sage of the Six Path gone cause. His energy to stay in mortal world already used up. His last message is simple. To seal my mother, Kagaya, you two must touch her by both seals of yin and yang that on your hands respectively easy, right? No. To connect even one technique to her alone, the chance is one in a thousand, didn't care even the technique itself powerful enough to blow the big chunk of earth with one shoot. This. Make the current sight possible, with Suzuki Uchiha, died first from the ash killing bone through his stomach. His body and souls destroyed within seconds. But that seconds, is enough for Suzuki to send Yin part of Sage of the Six Path Chakra to his best friend, thus the symbol of crescent moon on his left hand. 
Despite another power boost though, it's as if Kagaya herself is playing with him. Because since he got the moon seal, not even once he can touch her, as they just trading and trading technique from afar. Fortunately, after the fourth days, the teen success at cutting one of the woman's sleeved hand, as he did not wasted time to kill Black Zetsa within. Its screams for its mother help did not deter the teen from stabbing it through with katana made of truth-seeking ball. Kagaya herself did not even blink as she just regenerate her hand and kimono sleeve, much to the teen hidden grim. I think I know the problem now, Naruto come a dark gruff voice from the back of teen, now called Naruto head, though it didn't make him scared at all. What it is, Karema. He is tired, both body and soul, Naruto knew this, so that's why any plan for him now is very much appreciated. It's because you are not fully grasping at what your Uchiha friend give to you. As much as Naruto want to angry at the visibly jab given to him, then Blonde know that now is not the time, so he just silent, waiting for Karema to finish his explanation. What I want to say is, what he gave to you is not simply the seal of Yin and Dad Chakra, but everything Karema loud sigh can be heard inside. Naruto Mindscape Sometimes, the nine-tailed fox really questioned on how Naruto still alive till now with that dense brain of his. It really creates a new way of saying ignorance is blessing. Hmm, okay then Karema. But how can I do that? At first, Karama nodded sagely after seeing the blonde understand fast, but then loud smacking can be heard across the mindscape as Karema slapped its own. Forward after the blonde second sentence. Ignorance is blessing it great furry but, for it, the great Karema it was the greatest curse. Just try to sense it yourself. Karema is not mad, of course he is not, he is after all, already grown up, unlike Naruto that's still in baby age, for Karema, it definitely did not mad at all merely irritated. Yes, that's the word, irritated. Come on. Karema. Geez you don't need to sulk, I try it. Karema eyebrow twitched here, his bunny-like ears followed a little, and its massive humanoid front paws is flexed to the side, as if just waking up, though inwardly, very much irritated at Naruto. From the outward perceptive, Kagaya can see Naruto closed his eyes gently, as if goes into meditative. This, make her feel threatened, just what is his? plan now, different from what Naruto thought, Kagaya actually also winded from their battle, but she can hide it nicely, after all, you pick some nice trick if live as long as her, but still, she did not make any move on Naruto form, after all, what if it was a trap to lure her in, ninja after all tricky like that, though inside Kagaya giving out thin smile, knowing her grandson reincarnate is, not like that, she can see it after all, his heart is pure, kindness simply poured out from his whole body, truly, he is a shining precious jewel in this blackened world, and that's also why, she will send him to after like as fast as possible, as painless as possible, so he did not need to see her cleansed this world from its inhabitant, word, did not do justice, within a blink, Kagaya already, shoot ash killing bone to Naruto head, unknown to him, without soul destroying property, and with another blink it already hair distance from his forehead, swish, Madara do the same thing, and Naruto can dodge it easily, but now is different, his body is weakened, his chakra already the size of river if compared to his usual ocean, more so he is currently focused, so he just did not have time to react, help come to him as with a mighty roar, Karema takes control of his body and shifted, ray -ay 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 -ay. sadly, while success, the ash killing bone in the end grazed on Naruto neck, letting some blood dripped, and seeing this, Karema gives out a wind growl, and waiting for the end that will befall. Second. Two seconds and Karema then blinked olishly. What the hell happened? But it was at. This time Naruto wake up from his trance-like state, and opened both of his eyes, showing a crimson eyes with black lotus-shaped orbs inside it. And he knows just what happened. Suzuki. Gave him his eternal manjikyo sharinan. Tear of sadness gently trailed down from both of his eyes, with the clear substance catching Kagaya attention. Naruto, is crying, he obviously did not notice that he, just got hit by one of her one hit kill technique, the reason she can guess that he just now too much deep in his trance state, but one glance to his eyes, Kagaya breath almost hitched, that eyes, just how did he gain them, Azura advanced body is no problem for her, as she can negate it with her eyes, and Azura chakra, she can just absorb it, Indra eyes also no problem for her, as she has the true final advanced state one in her forehead, so she also can negate it. But if both combined, 
Sherinan would transform into Rinnegan if placed in Uzumaki, and that mean minutes later, it will happen, and if so, she will as if fighting against her son Hago Romo when that happens, and seeing Naruto current state, she silently sighed and decide to just finish it before Rinnegan awakened, inwardly she slightly gritted her teeth, her eyes connected with the current Mugen Tsukiyomi, and that mean, every living being that trapped inside the illusion, she can watch their memories easily, and so she actually already finished watching Naruto whole life from every living being that has a memory about him, such kindness, to forgave the enemy, such drive, to always keeping on his promise, such loyalty, to never ever betray his friend, even the one that betrayed him, and lastly, such innocent, to not even notice the love that sent at him, if only, he is that type of person, Kagaya surely wouldn't have hard to cut even the single hair from his head, too much deep in though, Kagaya did not realize a fist that sailed to her cheek, and only realize at the last second, boom, with a shockwave, Naruto fist buried into the tall goddess cheek, even the air is silenced from the mighty shockwave, his eyes that of still eternal Manjikyo Sherinan, but with deep purple instead that of crimson. Horiyaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
in its handle is complex seals array. Honestly, he has not even mastered this yet, because each experiment only leads to his clone body cannot take the pressure. And even if they success, their body shimmered just like he's currently. But now, what is he going to lose? Desperate action for desperate situation after all. Karema, did you have a bit chakra for my hand? This is the last kit, even if you arrived there and touched Kagaya. You cannot seal her without any chakra Karema's voice, is tired. Naruto noticed this as he just smiled sadly and stared at his now fully shimmering hand that hold the kunao, as if ready to gone from existence. Well, if that happened, at least I know that my last attack successfully landed and I touched her right. I can die with smile at least inside the spiraling red doom, Kagaya surprisingly. Silent, staring at Naruto form with a sad face, as if can sense what he and Karema are talking about. He in the end gives up and ready to die. Kagaya is not heartless, to someone like Naruto, in normal situation she would even send his soul privately to heaven. At least knowing he cannot seal her without chakra, she would just grant his wish to touch her with both hands, even if it's only to calm his mind before he dying. With a simple read into many IWA shinobi that trapped inside Mugen Tsukiyomi, Kagaya realizes that the kunao in Naruto hand can be used for instant teleportation, and that put her mind in a calm state, knowing it can't even hurt her. And so, she waited. Half minute later, the raging wind began to calm down, as Naruto narrowed his eyes and can only see blurry sight of Kagaya, standing there, unhurt. Let's go Karema. Our last shoot not knowing his weakened mind can be read easily by a goddess, Naruto hand moves to throw the kunao. For normal human, cause Naruto throws the weapon with a support from Karema chakra, they would only see a simple blur, like a simple flash of gleaming silver before their head stabbed. Kagaya, is far from normal human, she is a goddess. This is a child play for her, if someone can become so famous because of simple teleport, let's not forget that she can open the portal to any dimension, and she also can dump anyone within her gaze to that dimension in question. But like she promised, she did not even move as the slow kunao become near, and when it almost stabbed her shoulder, weak force of gravity made it hovered inches away from her kimono. It's enough for her grandson reincarnation to teleport to her way, right? Her question answered as she can see Naruto form gone in a flash of yellow, then reappeared directly in front of her, two hands in grabbing position. But, his form, make Kagaya frowned with slight worry, what with that blur that cover his whole body, it's as if reality itself bent themselves, rippled. Like a water, it's as if, he is covered in solid illusion. Kagaya sees it, at first she though, Naruto Azura mode would be deactivated and his normal look, which she already knows from people memory, will come out from it. But she did not, really did not though her weakness would suddenly replace her grandson reincarnate. His body at first shrunken, again and again till his head not even. Reaching her breast if they are standing side by side, if it can be guessed, his height around that of 145 centimeters or accurately around 4,7 feet. Obviously, they're no such thing as clothes magically shrunken a long moment right now, as Naruto now tiny body covered with an obviously loose clothes, giving him an adorable image. His skin tone began to get lighter, until it was healthy pink-white in color. And if this combined with his now shortened whiskers marks, it gives him an appearance like that of cute kittens. Lastly, gone his blonde hair, now it was pure white in color, as white as snow with style like that of Suzuki when he's kid, only more tamed, and if combined with his big, wide innocent cerulean blue eyes, it gives him the slight feminine appearance. All of this, make even Kagaya. Brain freeze, her eyes dazedly staring at former blonde new form, trail of blood dripped from her nose. Fortunately for her, Naruto energy already used up, all of it. Seven days of battle began to take its toll on his body, and with his last energy, another fortunate for Kagaya, Naruto palms, gripped on Kagaya kimono front in adorable manner, she can even see that he snored cutely. Creation of all things is an overpowered ability, its name alone suggests at what it does. And right now, Kagaya ignored all of these overpowered nonsense, as she creates a big bundle of tissue. Then immediately, she pressed all of it into her nose. Squirt. In no time, all of these tissue turned red from Kagaya blood, and these amounts can even compare to that of three adult man's whole blood, pretty much can. Kill anyone that lose that much. Except Kagaya of course. Dying like this would be such a paradise for her, 
but let just honest, why should she do it? Instead of that, after all, she can do other thing. Yeah dazedly, Kagaya looked down again and can see Naruto adorable, cute, perfect, Prince of Shota form have an adorable nose twitch moment. The legendary moment that can make even the mightiest heart crumbled like. Simple dry paper. Doki Doki, almost died again, this time from heart attack, Kagaya creates another big bundle of tissue and press it to her nose. In no time making it red from blood. Famuyo. This time, Kagaya did not have time to get ready as the albino Shota snuggled into her stomach, she can even feel his cute tiny head rubbing her under bust slightly, not only that, he even let out such cute sound. From so much stimulation, in the end many liter of blood burst from her nose, knocking the goddess out, her big sleeved arms possessively wrapped around the boy. No though that really crossed Kagaya mind, but from how her eyes rolled backward with stupid grin on her face and droll leaked from the edge, anyone would know that whatever inside her mind can make most children traumatized. For life. Chapter 2, A eh what? Dash two weeks later in the middle of nice room, casual yet royal looking bed can be seen. On top of the bed, with a peaceful expression on his face is Naruto, who didn't realize what had happened in these two weeks he was passed out. Beside the bed, sat in chair while playing with Naruto's silky white hair is Kagaya, her face an expression of melancholy. Un. A soft. Melodious moan was then heard as the sleeping boy shifted. His dazzling cerulean blue eyes opened delicately, blinking a bit from the sudden sunlight. There is no visible movement that is seductive in nature, yet for Kagaya, it felt like there was. Her heart says so too. Doki Doki despite this, Kagaya expression never changed, as she kept caressing the boy's hair, sometimes her long fingers. Traced across his soft cheeks, also resisting the urge to kiss it. She already did that many times in these two weeks after all, along with other things. Yay yeah, yeah, yeah. Other things. Wiping the blood from her nose, Kagaya focused her attention back to the albino boy that successfully made her feel like this. With Naruto himself slowly, but surely getting his bearing. For Naruto, he felt his body, ached, screaming at him to stop trying, demand him to get more rest. But he ignored it, knowing that many times he had a more fatal and life-threatening injuries in the past. Some aches like this is nothing. W who are you, eyes still not fully geared up, Naruto can only make out blurry sight of someone face with whitish gray hairs and a pair of Byakugan eyes, but knowing only one person that has that characteristic, his tone laced with hesitation and some fear. The latter reason, because he felt his body like it is natural. And that's bad for him. He did not know how complex his personal jutsu is, but he is sure that there's no way someone as powerful as Kagaya would even blink for something like it. It was, after all, only advanced henge jutsu topped with many layers of endurance. Seals and Karema's chakra. Even Tsunade Baa Chan jutsu to hide her appearance is more advanced than what he used. Thinking back to her, someone he really felt like his own mother, Despite kept calling her otherwise, Naruto eyes stabbed with pain, as it becomes teary at fast rates. Not only her, but everyone he held dear in his heart, along with everyone from the Shinobi Alliance. Maybe from this sadness, Naruto did not see that Kagaya stared at him with strange eyes, nor he comprehend it when suddenly his body engulfed in a tight embrace. From Kagaya nonetheless. W. Watt. He wanted to ask but the sound that come out from his throat is only cute squeak that only make Kagaya hug on him tightened, burying his head into her big bosom and making him inhale her sweet vanilla scent. Dense as he is, Naruto still felt embarrassed from his current situation as blood was going to his face, turning it red from his blush, like a rose in the snow if compared. Truly beautiful. It's Oka Dash. Kagaya tried to comfort the albino, though Naruto, in his confused state, Knowing she is the one intended to erase human from the world quickly pushed her off. Dd Don T touch me. Despite his blushing. Face, Naruto face filled with many mixed expressions, in which most profound is the fear and vulnerability, showing his rare, fragile state, one of the reasons Kagaya let him pushed her off just now. Okay her voice is uncaring, cold, and monotone, making Naruto shiver more in fear. Unconsciously he wrapped thick blanket around his body in an adorable way of hiding. His wide, shaky blue eyes. Unmoving from Kagaya form, afraid that if he ever lose her from sight, she will do something to him. Well, from that mysterious light behind her eyes, she will do something all right. Not that Naruto would let her do that, with his gaze locked on and all, he even refused to blink. 
H. How long was I asleep? F. For gulping in nervousness, one thing he can do in this current body, Naruto asked, decide to just go bold instead going around. That was never his strong suit after all. Two weeks Naruto eyes become much bigger here from shock, and also a bit dimmed. Two weeks, with no shinobi trying to save him, or if they were, they were already killed. His mind began to wander off, and every path of mind led to the same question. Did that mean, humanity was already annihilated? Even the thought alone made Naruto shivers in his most fragile state. But knowing his thought, is only that, a thought, Naruto opened his mouth again to ask, only for Kagaya to cut him off suddenly. My person did not do anything to thou people. I believe we are stranded. Her talking way, at first, made Naruto tilt his head a bit cutely, also resist an urge to smile. To hear someone strange way of talking, is really funny. Now he knows what the others felt when his catchphrase came out from his mouth. But when the stranded word came out, also inside a normal sentence, Naruto froze. His cerulean blue eyes become shaky as he stared at his enemy, questioningly. Kagaya's next words were unforgiving just like her personality. We are stranded. In another dimension. Her tone, while cold and unforgiving also held a hint of distaste, which Naruto ignored in favor to repeat Kagaya words inside his head. He is stranded, not on an island or some unknown city, but in a whole different dimension. Part of him was a bit happy cause with this Kagaya cannot kill the others, but another part of him really felt empty. The question then comes out from his mouth. T then why are you not taking us back? The rabbit goddess shook her head softly here, that fragile tone of him just made her heart clenched in pain. Softly, like he is the most precious gem she ever held, Kagaya once again pulled the albino boy into her body, engulfing him in a hug. This time Naruto did not reject it, as he really needs it. Sob sob at first it was only a sob, yet slowly but surely it becomes a full. Blown cry of sadness. Youth. Why a a a Tell him to do something that even the most daring person would flinch at, and Naruto can do it with confidence and a smile on his face. But separate him from his precious people, Naruto would clutch at the person that is nearest to him. And the situation right now, made Naruto's lithe hands clutch onto Kagaya's kimono like dear life, burying his face into her cloth-covered breast and wetting it with his tears. Naruto did not hold a pipe dream, if Kagaya decides not to tell him and just comfort him like this, she must have her own reason and cannot do what he asked why she does this is missed by his current fragile mind. H. How? Why? In his cry, Naruto could only ask something that to most people was pretty much non-understandable. But, Kagaya is not most people, as she pretty much understand what the boy meant. Not like she will answer his question. Not now. Not with his fragile state. She did not want her cute Nara broken after all. Sleep. Rein Sheringen opened on her forehead, a red in human eye gazed into Naruto's cerulean eyes, and in his state, he couldn't resist as slowly but surely his eyes dropped. When the boy in the end fell asleep in her embrace, a soft sigh escaped from Kagaya lips, so controlled that it basically non-existent. Then gently, she carried the boy bridal style and rocked him softly after covering his cute nude body with her long sleeves. Maybe from his sadness, her Nero did not realize his lack of attire, much to her mixed happiness and sadness. Obviously, she is happy for the show of that seductive body in front of her eyes, but she is sad because it was not followed by him flustered, then covering his body with more sheets. Then he would have said, And no, Didon TL look at me why you be baka, it's e embarrassing. For many times in these weeks, blood trailed from Kagaya's nose as she stared at the boy sleeping face that softly snoring in her breast, his warm breath hitting her bosom, giving her shiver of pleasure and goose bump feeling. Honestly, she did not care for those chakra thieves that her Nero cared about. But she is sure cared for his mood. Fortunately, she chose this particular dimension. With this he cannot go back, not without meeting with that entity. Her Nero did not need any monkeys? Nor did he need those animals called tailed beasts. She can make him happy by herself, in here, only the two of them. And if there is some pest around, they better hope that they did not meet with her. Now, she really should think of a way to make her Nero happy after he realizes there is no tailed beast in his gut anymore. Maybe, he would give her some kisses after that. Blushing greatly, Kagaya breath began to get ragged as she stared at her Nero's lips, those soft, inviting lips that sometimes touch against the fabric that cover her bosom. XXXXX, break, 
XXXXX far above in heaven my lord, I believe we should face this newcomer face on and observe whether they are malicious or not beside a golden regal throne, an armored man can be seen, his whole body covered, in gold armor, even his face, behind him, six pairs of feathery wings can be seen, its golden shine simply illuminating the room, and when he talks, he does it with such reverence and loyalty to the one sat in the throne, but the man that sat in throne only silent for several seconds, his whole form covered with thick silver light, rendered his form to be unseen, is it truly what you felt, Metatron, or is it your fear that forces you to say something like that, the armored man, now called Metatron did not even flinch as he who sat in throne of heaven talked with questioning intent to him, but he is sure that his light buzzing with such happiness for hearing his voice alone, yes, my lord, because for another god to just decide to stay in that place that is part of your domain, is an insult in the highest degree the light on the throne of heaven then lets out a sound that very much reminded Metatron of sighing, and he doesn't know whether it is good or bad, Metatron, you are one of my most loyal subordinate, so for now just trust me and don't do anything that can make these two entity angry, and if not for me, do it for your own life despite not liking the order, given to him, Metatron nodded to his lord and placed his palm on his own chest, yes, my lord, xxxxx, break, xxxxx another two weeks time skip he is a god, a god, again and again Naruto repeats this inside his mind, but truly he cannot feel any happiness from it, not like this, Kurama is not with him anymore, but the Kyuubai Chakra remained inside his gut, along with other tailed beasts, Chakra mysteriously, and every time he asked Kagaya, she clammed down and averted their topic into another, so suspicious, with no conscious to control all of these massive amount of chakra, they simply burst from his body and exploded, in some case it would kill a normal person, but as full sage of the six path he is, more so some support from Kagaya, these chakra did not hurt him, only, strengthened his body, saturating it with mixed nine chakras, simply put, right now he is the Juubi, primordial god of tree, Naruto could feel it, power drummed hard from every vein in his person, ready to be unleashed, yet he felt hopeless at his own inability to go back to his home, his own dimension, so what if he becomes a deity, so what if he now is a something that many of his former enemies, wanted to be, if he cannot share this joyous moment with his friends, his family, his partner, honestly, he rather chooses death than this, his family, despite not being a family by blood, he loved them more than usual families felt with each other, because they are his guide, the ones to make him into what he is right now, a strong young man, his friends, those that stood beside him, fight, with him, laugh with him, sad with him, and accepting him for who he truly is and not what people had said about him, they are part of his life, and despite there being too many to be counted, more so after the war began, he always treated them as one, as his precious people, and lastly, his people, the same people that had shunned, sneered, glared and mocked on his dream along with everything, he did, yet he changed them, their hate changed into love, their fear turned into admiration, with every step, he simply felt their gaze at him, it felt good, not because he is greedy, cocky, or something like that, but because he knew, his dream had already come true, everyone, not only in Kanaha, but all around the nation recognized him for his power, his charisma, his determination, and most, of all his hard work, but now, everything gone just like that, everything that he gained from his blood and tears, sat in the window of the little house of his and Kagaya, Naruto closed his eyes gently, his fingers gently traced Hiration Kunao in his palm, speaking of Kagaya, she was very supportive of him in these two weeks and she is very kind after he got to know her, the uncaring side of her, was even gone with time, a ghost of a smile and a cute blush, then appeared on Naruto's face as he remembered how she hugged him when he woke up two weeks ago, saying many sweet things in his ear, I will protect you, remembering about that time, Naruto blush deepened, though now that he thinks again, he remembers he felt something grabbing his butt, meh, must be his imagination, all in all, Kagaya is very much showing her deep loving side to him, she is even ignoring his state of body, much to his happiness, and did not mock him, maybe he can live happily here after all, xxxxx, break, xxxxx later sitting on his bed Naruto, donned in pure white kimono, much to his embarrassment, with a loose collar, showing some part of his pearly white skin that's as soft as baby skin, as a deity, 
He really did not need to eat, but deity's power increased by how close the deity in question to their own domain, also their imagination. The latter is more important, because with it a deity can manipulate their domain. For example light shaped into sword, spear, pillar, spikes, beam, or simple burst to illuminate. Fire can be manipulated into blazing heat that spread, or a tiny laser that can pass through almost anything. For a human that become a deity, they have a weakness inside their imagination. Because in it, they always think that they need to eat so they can get energy. Imagination is truly a double-edged blade for all deities. They can control many things with it, but they also can control their own body as well and if not careful, in a bad way. That's also why, currently, Naruto sat on the edge of the bed while Kagaya's in front of him, feeding him by spoon. Um, Kagaya. Naruto gently called as he uncomfortably stares at the spoon that the goddess held. Reason, the amount of steam that's coming out of it alone very much made Naruto uncomfortable. Not including the heat that he felt yet. Yes. She innocently answered, tilting her head, as if currently not. Giving him the hottest food he's ever seen. Like a gentle fire that was just lit up, Naruto Fei slowly gained the crimson hue in unfamiliar feeling that he never felt in his fake body. Shyness. With his body truly been shown, a feeling of self-consciousness began to bubble up and following it, is shyness. Um. Biting his bottom lip, Naruto's bashful reaction made Kagaya inwardly drool more. So when he fumbled around his words like that I I S N T that a be bit t too hot to be a. Several seconds silent, Naruto reaction for his own catchphrases is to gain redder hue in his cheeks, followed by him staring into his lap and playing with his kimono like it's some sort of interesting sight. Kagaya reaction, firstly her eyes turned into that of predator full of hunger, then after placing the plate on the desk, she grabbed both of Naruto's shoulders and pushed him onto the bed rather forcefully. Naruto, not expecting this, found himself let out a familiar squeak. Eep. Unfortunately for him, Hineda alike squeak did not deter Kagaya, only make it worse as her face now turned crimson, breath ragged as she also climbed bed and began to straddle his waist, increasing Naruto. Embarrassment. K Kagaya. W what are y u d doing? She responded by placing both of her sleeves covered palms on Naruto cheeks, left and right respectively, then kissed him on the lips. Naruto got a brain freeze here, if not from the suddenness of this situation, then from the question why she would do this. But he did not get any times as from his dazed state, Kagaya's tongue thought it as an opportunity and decide to go straight into his mouth. Ah, fully crimson in the face, the albino boy letting out startled yell and pushed away the goddess from his body, with her have this distaste face cause she is rejected from the sweet hole which is her narrow mouth. Just another second there, and she can taste the sweetness. She is just that near. Didn't know what Kagaya currently thinks, with blushing face Naruto touched his own lips. That was his first, with girl that did not try to kill him, and if he can be honest, it was enjoyable. Her lips is so soft thinking like that, from Naruto head a big amount of steam is coming out, catching Kagaya attention, as she activated her Rhinesharingen and burned the image of her adorable narrow moment deep inside her brain. She can use this for masturbate sometimes. Phew. A-A-U-U-U-U. Too much embarrassed, in the end Naruto passed out with red face that's so red that it can make Hinata own looked pale, all the while Kagaya memorized the image. From the back of the goddess mind, urge to rape the boy when he sleeps appear, but it quickly squashed down as fast as it appears. She will rape her cute Nara, but she will do it with his consent, not now, when he is not even used to simple hug. Even a kiss made he passed out. But Kagaya is patient, cause with patience the reward will be much more satisfactory. For now, Chapter 1, Prologue Once Hero Always